In this video, we are going to hack our way into an old mosquito racket, try and find the high voltage generator and use it in various other projects. For this video, I am not promising any completed project, just exploring some fun ideas. And I believe it is also going to be interesting and useful. Hi guys, I am Josh and welcome to my channel Video Epo. I had published a video on how to make a bottle rocket recently and if you have not seen the video, you can always click on the i button on top and watch the video. Now in that video, I had used a piezo unit from a gas lighter as the ignition source, but then it was not reliable. So I had to upgrade it to something better. So I ordered a high voltage generator from online and used it in the project. But then during the course of the video, I realized that if it is only going to be a spark, a consistent spark that I need, why can't I use a mosquito bat? But then there was one problem, I did not know how to do that. So I had to watch a few videos, a lot more than few videos and I finally figured it out. Turns out that it is not that difficult, if I can do it, you guys can too. So let's get started. I have two mosquito rackets or bug zappers as it is called sometimes and I am going to pick the oldest one. Opening the racket is simple. See a screw, open the screw. Once all the screws are removed, the top part in this frame of reference comes out easily. I have removed the old lead acid battery and connected the battery leads to a new battery unit. I checked if the unit comes to life with the new battery pack and it did. Obviously, the faulty part in the racket was only the battery with no other component damaged so far. But if other components were damaged, I would not risk fixing the racket with inadequate knowledge in electronics. For now, we have a way forward, so let's move on. I cut the wires leading to the wire mesh and remove the circuit completely. It is easier to work that way. This is the part of the circuit where 220 volts AC is stepped down to 4 volts DC or so and it is used to charge the battery. These two wires here are the battery leads. The blue wire here is the positive and the grey wire is the negative. Most of the time, the polarity is indicated on the circuit board. Next to the LED in the center is where the voltage from the battery is stepped to a high voltage and low amperage using these components. These leads are connected to the mesh wires and these wires carry high voltage. Since we are connecting another battery, we don't need these components and we can remove them. So here I have removed the components. Now I check it again and it works. So it means I did not accidentally remove any necessary components. And just like that, we have a high voltage generator. Here is the first thing you can do. You can actually upgrade the mosquito racket. You can upgrade it with a better battery, a charging module and now you don't have to plug this into the wall socket. Instead, you can charge it using a mobile charger or a battery bank if need be. We can swap the old lead acid battery rated 4 volts and 400 milliamps to a 18650 lithium ion battery with 3.7 volts and larger MAH. To charge it, we can use a TP4056 module. After making necessary modification in the handle of the bug zapper, I can now fit in a 18650 battery in a battery holder so that I could remove the battery and replace it with ease whenever required. The charging module is fixed using hot glue on the top lid for space management. Checking it once again before the final assembly. All good. We can now recharge the bug zapper using a mobile charger and now we have a working bug zapper. For the second hack, let me go back to where all of this started, the ignition system of a bottle rocket. I have removed the previous high voltage generator unit and the press switch. I have swapped it to the circuit we have just harvested from the mosquito racket with the leads connected to the rocket launch pad I had made earlier. Since there is an onboard press switch on the circuit board, we can use that for now. I sprayed isopropyl alcohol inside the pet bottle and placed it on the launch pad. If the alcohol to air mixture is not right, it will not ignite even if there is a spark. Fixing that issue and trying again, it works, no doubt. Interestingly, we can use this arrangement to make an arc lighter and light up our butane torch or a gas stove if need be. Obviously, we need to work on the form factor, but for this demo, I am using the unit to light up a butane torch. Note that it can also be used to light up gas stove as well.
For the fourth hack, let me see if I can use this circuit in the ionic thruster that I had made. And if you have not watched the video, again, you can click on the i button on top and watch the video. In the previous version, I had used a copper ring glued to the bottleneck as the positive electrode arrangement. I am going to see if this setup works with a conductive copper tape like this. So I cut a pet bottle neck and pasted the copper strip on the inside rim of the bottle. Hope this works. And for the negative terminal, I am going to use the same one from the previous build. I want to see if the mosquito sweater circuit works with this setup. I made a temporary arrangement and did a test run. Nothing worked. Just to be sure if the fault is not with the new arrangement, I swapped it back to the high voltage generator purchased online. You can hear the high voltage frequency hissing and notice the candle lamp. It obviously works. So in short, the circuit from the mosquito zapper has to be further modified to work in an ionic thruster. But the only takeaway from this test is the copper sticker works too. This circuit really doesn't work on an ionic plasma thruster because it doesn't have enough voltage output and in order to increase the voltage output, something I checked online is we'll have to make a capacitor ladder, something which is beyond the scope of my abilities presently. I will try that in some future videos maybe. That brings us to the end of the video and one more request guys, please subscribe to this channel and whatever questions you have, you can always leave it in the comment section below and help this community grow. You guys, you stay curious and make something new. I will come up with another interesting video very soon. Until then, bye-bye.